Student, today we are going to learn Planck constant, the SI unit and dimensional formula. That's we can take it as a Planck constant, okay. Today we are going to learn how to find SI unit and dimensional formula for Planck constant. As we know, energy is equal to Planck constant times of frequency, okay. Now, Planck constant is a question mark. Planck constant is equal to energy by frequency, okay. So, energy unit, which one we can take it as a joule, okay. Frequency unit, which one we are going to take it as a 1 by second. So, joule, 1 by second, okay. So, denominator, denominator directly will come into the numerator. So, we will get as a joule seconds, okay. So, which one is a one of the unit of Planck constant, okay. The another unit, okay. Joules, we can write as a force, energy, energy is equal to Newton, uh, force into displacement, okay. Which one, 1 joule is equal to 1 newton into 1 meter. 1 joules is 1 newton into meter, okay. So, instead of writing joules, you can write as a Planck constant is equal to, Planck constant unit is equal to, it is newton meter second. This is a another unit of the Planck constant, it is one of the unit, okay. The next thing, okay, newton, we can take it force unit, force is equal to mass into acceleration. So, which one we are going to take it as a kg meter uh, per, by second, the same unit, second square, kg meter second minus 2. So, we can take it as a newton as a kg meter second minus 2 into meter second. Okay, meter, meter will get as a meter square. So, kg meter square second minus 2 here plus 1, okay, second plus 1. So, we will get kg meter square second minus 1, okay. Now, the dimensional formula, what about the dimensional formula for the Planck constant, okay. So, mass we can take it as uh, capital M, length we can take it as capital L, time we can take it as a capital T, kg meter square second minus 1. It is a final unit, SI unit of the Planck constant, okay. So, this is a SI unit also we can tell final solution, okay. So, kg we can take it as a M. Length we can take it as a L, time we can take it as a T. So, power of 1, power of 2, it is minus 2. It is a, sorry, minus 1. It is a far dimensional formula for Planck constant and it is a SI unit of Planck constant. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you everyone.